screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. <laughs> Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Get ready! Let's get to work. Reloading! Shido 2, hey, Bomb's oh. name was what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! Out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotors spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a look. We turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Murphy! Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Hi, Mother, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive.
Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <laughs> Boss, don't look too pleased with your efforts. Let's see. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than deaths. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you weak. Shawa And you? Who are you? Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this.
、うん、荒坂様お父様の殺害犯を見つけましたこの女で間違いありませんはい、はい、1時間後にそうか怖いやつ You dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Uh. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? I know someone. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. 
Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How are you feeling? I don't know, Vic. The years of rain. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic. And I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then... <sighs> promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another psyche's memories? How is that even possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V. It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... 
That's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I have to die. I am going to die. That what you're saying? Prove it. Hmm. Dex shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short-circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. Empty vessel? But I'm right here. All of this is me. The shard doesn't read, it writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, and doing away with the old. From where the shard's sitting, you, what's left, it's all a tumor that needs to be excised. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man! The 
fuck kind of droid toy? Who you work for? Start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! <clears throat> I can feel it. Our minds, touching. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Gonna kill you! Oh, fuck me. right now. Barely hanging in there as it is. You may recall that I saved your life. I needed you to return the favor. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Joke. A fucking joke. Is it in a cop's 